Let's go back to the eye now and see how we're doing in understanding all its bits and pieces. We've talked about the multi-wavelength receptors at the back here, the cones and the rods that send signals through the optic nerve to the brain. But this retina here will have an image formed upon it as the light comes through this lens and goes through the lens and hits this retina. So this lens has to form an image on the retina and this lens therefore needs a variable focal length because the object that you're looking at could be different distances away and in order to keep the image distance fixed, that is the distance between the lens and the retina, the image distance, keep that fixed, you need to be able to change the focal length of the lens. The distance between the lens and the retina is about 20 millimeters in a typical eye. So let's see how this works. What kind of range of focal length can you achieve in your eye? So the distance between the lens and, your, and the retina is about 20 millimeters. This is the image distance, I. That's fixed. So let's say you want to focus on an object that's 15 centimeters away. And that's typically about the closest your eye can comfortably focus. What's the focal length of the lens in this case? And what's the focal length of the lens if the case that the object is a kilometer away? Well, let's do the 13 centimeter case first. We have this equation, 1 on f is equal to 1 on o plus 1 on i. The object distance, the distance to the object from the lens is 13 centimeters. The image distance is 2 centimeters, 20 millimeters. So the focal length of the lens in your eye is given by 1 divided by 0.13 plus 1 divided by 0.02, all inverted, which gives a focal length of about 17 millimeters. What about when the object is one kilometer away? Same equation, but now the object distance is 1,000 meters. The image distance is the same, 20 millimeters. The focal length is in 1 on 1,000 plus 1 on 0.02. Now this number here, 1 on 1,000, is going to be much smaller than this. So in fact, the focal length is approximately equal to 20 millimeters. In this case, we're working in a situation where the object distance is essentially infinity. And that means the image is formed at the focal length, which is uh, what, we, what we say the image distance is 20 millimeters and the focal length is 20 millimeters. There's one last thing I'll say about vision. And that is that um, it seems as though in, on, in evolution on Earth, vision has arisen only once and that evolved about 700 million years ago. If you want to see details about the evolution of vision, then uh, have a look at this link here. The box jellyfish, uh, one of the most deadly creatures in the sea, it's extraordinarily painful to get uh, stung by and it can kill you. The box jellyfish actually has quite advanced vision and even though it looks like a really primitive, simple animal, it has tw have tw 24 eyes, four different types of eyes, and they can actually use vision that points upwards and sees out of the water, and they use that for navigation by looking at features like you know the mangroves above their heads and everything. They can also hunt their prey, so they've got other, other eyes that point into the water, and they follow sort of shadows and look for fish to try and catch. So they're kind of scary, crazy animals, and Here's some images of their eyes. If you want to know more about box jellyfish vision, then have a look at these links here.